Today I'm going to talk about one uh, app from Atlassian called uh, JavaScript Charts for Jira Cloud. Now, this app is uh, from Atlassian Labs. So, I guess it is not really ready for production kind of an app, but uh, I'm sure you can still use it. And I have used it. It looks good to me. Of course, it is not really doing much, but there are some things that you can do with this uh, JavaScript charts for Jira Cloud that you cannot really do with uh, the Jira inbuilt gadgets. Now, I will quickly go through the uh, marketplace listing. So it says uh, you can create a customized burn down chart based on your own JQL queries build graphs in many different styles, easily configurable. So not much about uh, what it can do. I mean, I mean, not really, uh, there, are not, there, there are not really a lot of things mentioned on the marketplace listing. It is definitely a very simple app to use, uh, app to use, but it can be really useful. Now, I want to basically show you how it works. So, what I will do, I will definitely show you the app that I installed. Um, so it is a free app. If you want to try it out, why not? There is no money that you have to pay. And after you enable the app, you can go to the dashboard and you can create something like this. Now, if you have to create a new report, basically you have to create a new gadget and uh, I will add a new gadget called JavaScript chart for Jira cloud. Now let us build a new report. The first thing that we need to do is we need to give with this chart a name. So trying to create report, a very, not very great name, but uh, we have few options, chart style, plotly, chart.js and uh, c3. So I guess these are different uh, libraries. And uh, I've used Plotly before, so it is quite good. And I think uh, you can create good looking reports, definitely good, look, good looking as compared to what you can do with Jira inbuilt reports. Now you can also configure the size, but I'll leave it as it is. Chart dates. So do you want to, I mean, if you look at the report, there is a timeline here. We want to show it uh, for month or maybe for uh, week. So this is something familiar. And uh, the main thing is of course the data set. Now let us say you want to create something like created versus resolved report. So you can create your, uh, so basically you can uh, give your data set a name, then a type. Let us say you want to create a stacked bar chart. And I want to have uh, time series field which is created. I want to see the issue count. And you can also further filter it up, but I think if you leave it, it will be across Jira. That is also a valid filter. So if you click on it, I think it will create a report immediately. Now we want to create, a, we, want, we want to also basically, basically add one more called resolve. Now, now the good thing about this particular add-on is, or app is that uh, you, you, you can have multiple data sets. That is really interesting. And uh, you have different types of reports. Not really a lot, but I think it is still good. So the second one that I want is uh, resolved. So I just want to know how many issues are getting created and resolved on a timeline. Very simple, but yeah, it can be useful. So now you can see here that the report is there, but uh, the report is showing us something really interesting that we are not really doing good. We are not really resolving issues as, as we should be. But you know what I mean. I think uh, the report looks very nice as compared to what you get out of the box with Jira gadgets. Now there are some options on top. You can, you can download it as a, a, a PNG. And usually this is not the option in a default Jira report. Uh, you have to take a snapshot of the dashboard or the gadget. You can also 
pan like this, I believe. And it looks good in case you want to focus on a specific month. You can do box select. I don't know what it means, but uh, oh yeah. So you can just focus on maybe specific regions. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, less so select, I think uh, something like this. In case you're familiar with uh, designing, I use GIMP quite a lot and I know what it means, less so select. Uh, we have options like zoom in and let me select this option, pan or uh, maybe not. I'll zoom out and uh, auto scale. We have the option to reset axis. We also have the option to toggle spike lane lines. So I think if you op enable this option, so it will give you uh, like these lines, which is quite useful if you're doing some anal analysis. You have show closest data on hover. Um, I don't know what it means. I'm trying to uh, compare data on hover. So let us try to compare. Okay, so basically when you're hovering, it will show you the uh, sh show you the values for both the uh, uh, data sources. For show close closest data on hover, it is showing me the date. Okay, or maybe so it is. It's saying it is saying uh, January thirty first, twenty twenty eighty seven created. Okay. Ah, okay, so it is basically showing the number. Okay, interesting. I think uh, quite useful for each and every section of a bar chart. And then we have uh, a link called produced with Plotly. Plotly. Let me try to change the uh, chart style to C3. Let us see. Uh, okay, so this is uh, definitely uh, not that smooth looking but I think uh, I, I'm, I'm familiar with this uh, pop-up because when you're working with ECBI reports you get a similar pop-up. Maybe they're using the same library. Let me try chart JS. I think I've used it before. Um, so not very colorful. Do we need to change anything? Do we need to change the color? Maybe not. Uh, or maybe I missed something. Anyways, let me save it and go back. Okay, so not many options, but I think with Plotly, there are plenty of options. So I think uh, let us stick with Plotly and uh, maybe try the dark theme. Yeah, it looks good. Not bad at all, especially if you are trying to maybe project it somewhere on uh, a big screen so it can be useful. It is definitely easier on the eyes. So overall, I think I, I'm quite happy with this uh, app, this new app that I wanted to try called JavaScript Charts for Jira Cloud. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.